Hey everybody, welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel. In this particular video, guys, I'm going to be doing a review of Vocable AI. Um, Vocable AI is a content scheduler. Um, it's a way for you to generate 30 days worth of multi-channel content with an AI content planner. Now, as I get ready for 2026 and getting uh, our digital learn community prepared for 2026, one of the things that's going to become paramount in this upcoming year is really automating some of our workflows and continuously putting ourselves in front of our content instead of always having to feel like you're on this sort of content hamster and having to continually come up with content ideas, et cetera, et cetera. And so I went ahead and I grabbed Vocable um, AI, which is available right now on app sumo at a lifetime deal guys and as you can see on the screen it's a way for you to uh, have 30 days of multi-channel content with this ai planner right now vocable ai right now has about 52 reviews you're looking at almost what five stars four and a half stars almost for this particular um, offer it starts of course at 89 dollars. you have a multi-faceted license that you can of course purchase um, this is going to help you, as it says here, churn out multi-content for clients that doesn't have to take forever. Um, and it's going to give you the ability to take your brand, your, uh, your the look of your brand, and sort of put your brand into the system. And it's going to basically take your website, take your brand, and it's going to help you to come up with the content. And that's really what I like doing now is I like taking AI and I like taking some of these AI ideas and sort of. Uh, you know, doing things a whole lot faster. You know, AI is not one of these things that we need to be afraid of. It's just one of those things that we need to learn how to harness and use and really use it in a way that's going to help us in our business and going to help us to work smarter and not harder. So this is a way for you to brainstorm and draft and publish about 30 days worth of multi-channel content. Um, you're going to really be able to capture your brand. You're going to really be able to know um, and get a good look and feel of your brand and so that other people can really understand what it is that you offer. According to the website, you just simply enter your URL. You're able to go ahead and use that information and it's going to take the knowledge from your website that you've already created and it's going to base the content that it creates off of your website. And that's what really makes it really interesting. How about having a 30 day content plan? already mapped out for you where all you have to do is plug and play into the content management system that you already have and just automatically start scheduling your content. For me, that is a game changer because it just puts me in front of things and it helps me to not have to worry about, um, you know, uh, you know, chasing the content. So that's the key to that. All right. So you're going to be able to edit your content to perfection, whether it's your blogs, you're going to be able to do manual edits to this stuff, which is really important as well. And you can, of course, publish it to your favorite platforms. And that's what we're all thinking about. Now, let's talk about the plans here. And you now you're going to have three plans here. You've got a license tier one, a license tier two, or a license tier three plan. On the license tier one plan coming in at $89, you're going to get one brand voice. You're going to get two AI powered campaigns. Um, there are no additional seats with this. You're going to get AI templates, keyword research, but you're going to lose out on some of the functionality of the program. You're not going to be able to get the multi-channel, uh, the multimedia prompting. You're not going to be able to have channel integrations, collaboration features, as well as campaign ex expansion. But you will have access to AI-powered content planning, AI-generated drafts, document health scoring. So that's going to be kind of like how they score whether the content is rankable, good, or not. You're also going to be able to have AI detection and humanitiz uh, humanization. So you're going to be able to more uh, make sure that your content is humanized. It's not written like a robot. And so you'll still have access to that, which is really good. Now, coming in at license tier two, you're going to be able to get five AI-powered campaigns. You're going to be able to do that. And you're going to have five different brand voices. And you're going to be able to get all of the things um, that I just mentioned uh, that were not available in, in tier number one, you're going to have access to it in tier number two. And that includes your multimedia prompting, the channel integrations, collaboration features, the campaign extension, expansion as well. And of course, all those other features. Now, of course, the top tier plan with this is a tier three 
coming in at $349. And that is going to give you three additional seats. You're going to get every single thing that was mentioned in tier two. And so it's just going to give you unlimited brand voices an unlimited power campaigns. Okay. So you're going to be able to do a lot of power campaigns. Now, my community, the digital learn community, every Saturday we meet, we kind of go over a lot of this stuff and a lot of the products. So we're just not purchasing the products. I'm showing my community how they can actually use these products in their business. And that's sort of the key. But I want to take you inside of Vocable AI and I want to walk you through the process with me setting it up for myself. And then I want to be able to show you the inside of the software. So let's go inside the software and let's take a look at it. All right, everybody, thank you so very much uh, for coming back and staying in this video. Um, that means you're committed to walking through this software to really see whether or not Vocable AI is going to be something that you need to use for your business. Now, um, I want to let you know that when you first sign up, you, of course, are going to have to activate it inside of AppSumo. Once you do, you're going to come to an activation screen. That activation screen is going to... Um, you just fill out the information. Once you fill out the information and you verify your email, it is then going to bring you to this screen. All right. All right. Now it's going to show you, of course, it says you have Instagram here. You've got YouTube, email, Facebook, blog, LinkedIn, Twitter, as well as TikTok. OK, um, I primarily am using almost all of these things. And so it's going to be really, really interesting as to how we are able to uh, relate this and do this for our business. Now, the first thing that you will notice here at the top, it says brand identity, um, set up your brand identity uh, under the brand tab and uh, to build the foundation for all of your AI generated content strategies. OK, now, since I am building this for the Digital Learn Academy and the Digital Learn community, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use this for uh, the Digital Learn uh, Brand Academy. Now, let me go ahead and get the URL HTTPS colon uh, forward slash. We're going to go digital. Uh, we're going to say learn. Academy, which is our our website here. And so we're going to let everything come from here. All right. And. And we're going to take it from there and then we're going to come in here. It says create a new brand from a URL. We're going to go ahead and try and do ours from the URL since we've already created the website and the website is already there. We're going to go ahead and input that inside of the enter URL and then we're just going to press continue. At this particular point, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and analyze your website. It's also going to try and get an understanding of your audience. So it's going to, you know, uh, go throughout your website. It's going to research your keywords. It's going to research your brand identity. It's going to take all of the things that encompass your brand, and it's going to help you to go ahead and facilitate uh, your brand identity. Now, what I love about this is the fact that I'm not having to, uh, you know, to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. Um, that's not something that I have to do. And I'm sorry for the flashing screen there, but. Um, you know, it's not something that I'm going to need to do. So it's going to do it for me. And since it's going to do it for me, it's going to make my life a whole lot easier when it comes to this entire process. OK, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, well, it's already done. <laughs> I was going to put you guys on pause. OK, and it says uh, create new brand. Uh, we've got the uh, no, no, no. We've got that one. Uh, this is what we're going to do here. Um, I think you could put your your logo here. So this this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to go ahead and do everything that it says for me to do here. So we're going to go ahead and do it uh, for ourselves. We're going to go ahead and do it so that way we can uh, create what we need to create. And then we'll just uh, we'll put everything in here as we go along. So uh, let's do that. All right. So you're going to put here. Digital learn academy um okay and so it wants you to uh you're going to go through this whole thing it was supposed to take all of our information from there already um but as you can see it really didn't give 
a lot of situation here. So we're going to have to manually do this. So we're going to give it a brand description, give it some core messaging and our, our target audience as well. And so we're going to go throughout that process so that way we can do that. Okay, everybody. So with the Digital Learn Academy, we added a brand description. We put some core messaging in here. We put our audience information in here as well. A value proposition. We've got our tone of voice in there as well as our, our industry as well. Keywords and themes and some other things in here. And we're going to hit now hit save. Okay. So now all of our branding information is put in there as far as I know. So we're going to come back to the dashboard here. Um, and as you can see, it says generate your content strategy. Share a bit more about your goals, content themes, and target audience. I'll craft a custom plan that truly speaks to your brand. Okay, you have a campaign goal here, brand awareness, engagement, lead generations, or sales conversion. Okay, you get to choose the brand that you've put inside. So that's that, and so that way you can do that as well. Now let's go inside of the, the back office here just for a minute so that way you can see that as well. All right, now I want to tell you something. You can actually select a multiplicity of these if you want to set up a campaign. So let's say, for instance, you wanted Instagram, YouTube, and you wanted to do Facebook. You could select those as a campaign and generate your content strategy from there, okay? Or you could select an email and all of that, and you can literally come up with your campaign for that. But for the sake of this, I want to go over here. And I want you to see you can actually work from templates as well. Um, if you look at the top, it has articles, descriptions, press releases, ad copy, email marketing, YouTube, TikTok, webinar. All of this stuff is already generated for you. OK, so you can actually go by uh, the templates that are in here. You've got a YouTube script. Um, you've got all sorts of stuff that you can look at. So let's talk about descriptions here. Um, you can do a, a product description, a video title and description, podcast description, meta title and description. So you can create five meta titles and descriptions from this. So like if you're um, scheduling out some content on Facebook, let's say you've created some Facebook reels or some Facebook shorts and you need to come up with titles and descriptions, you could do that from here. Um, let's say, for instance, you wanted to put out a press release on something that you're doing. You can do a product launch announcement, industry insights, merge or acquisition. You can do all of that from here as well. Now, let's see what it does for YouTube. My goodness. Now, uh, you could do a YouTube script. Um, I tried and it's giving you this. Why all, almost everything gets coming and then it's going to break down some some different uh, hacks for you. And I forget the name of this. Um, but these are well-known things that have pulled well on YouTube. So I see what they're doing. They're just pulling some of these, uh, these well-known topics and titles that have done very well. Um, I audit your plan live YouTube script. I had to start over with nothing in. And it's giving you all of these like um, little YouTube titles. I forget the name of that uh, right now, but um, I need to look it up. Let me see what the name of this is. Yeah, it's Creator Hooks. I don't know why I could not remember the name of that. It's Creator Hooks. So they're giving you Creator Hooks uh, here. That, that's what that's called. Um, so it says here, let me uh, time travel and talk. So this is just giving all sorts of emotional YouTube things. Now, I do a lot of webinars. So it's doing the personal transformation, the industry secrets. So it's giving you all sorts of things for the webinar, which is really, really cool as well. Um, you've got some integrations here. Um, you, you can integrate certain things in here for yourself, which is really, really cool. And you could do WordPress, you could do Webflow, Wix, LinkedIn, Facebook, and you can do X. I don't use X for a single thing. So at, in, at this particular point, the only two things here that I can use is Facebook as well as LinkedIn and WordPress. Those are the only two things that I personally can use. Um, I can't really use any of those other things. So yeah, um, that's what that is. And then you, of course, have your brand here and then you have your content planner. Now, you can do the Kanban view, you could do a list view or you can do a calendar view. Right. All right. So um, now at this particular point, um, what you would do, what you would do is you would start to put together your campaign and you would figure out what your content strategy is uh, for uh, whatever you're trying to promote.
All right, I sort of gave it a generic little thing here. Um, I don't really use Instagram for that, so we can do email, we could do Facebook, and yeah, because that's all I'm pretty much using for that at this particular point. And then you can click generate, and it's going to generate some ideas uh, for us. And it's generating the content. Uh, so let's see how long it takes to do that. And uh, while it's doing that, the whole idea here, guys, like I said before, so just make sure that you get in front of your content for 2026. So once you get in front of your content, then you don't really necessarily have to worry about always be feeling like you're behind or that you're on some sort of hamster wheel when it comes to producing your content. And so that's my advice um, is to use this for that particular purpose and and make sure that you're doing what you need to do um, as far as that's concerned okay now it's always um it's given us a uh some post here we've got some facebook posts an email newsletter facebook posts um so we got a lot of stuff here um that is generating uh today is the 11th wow so and as you can see it's generated all of this stuff this is giving us the kanban view this is giving us the list view of it, but you also have a calendar view. So if you want to know where you're supposed to be on your calendar, it's going to give you the calendar view for it as well. All right. Now, so you can view the content. Um, it's an email newsletter. This email serves as an exclusive urgency driven invitation to join the digital learn community positioning it as a rare opportunity rather than just another course platform. The main angle centers on concepts of private invitation to create a sense of da 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 da, fear of missing out, blah blah blah. Okay, and so then it does this. And then you can actually, looks like you can refine this. Um, uh, so that's the headline. Uh, here is the description. Oh, okay, I see what you're what it's doing. Okay, so you've got your target audience. You can add what your word count is. You got some advanced options here, and here are your advanced uh, options: priority, medium, due date is the twenty fifth. Um, who you can assign it to, and then when you're done with it, you can, I guess, create your draft. Okay, so this is like your prompt here. And then this would be actually when you're going to create the draft of it, okay? And so that's how you could go in there. So you're sort of manually fixing it and making sure that you're able to do what you need to do in order to build it. And you can also put some custom instructions here as well, um, which is really, really good for that as well. So that's how you would do that. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, let's do, because it's doing the, I would prefer, okay, well, it's not going to do that. Um, October, November, here we go, December. All right, this is your content calendar um, by the month. So it's giving you the days, uh, the stuff that you need to do on those particular days. So pretty much you can come here and it's already sort of generated your content for you and generated your calendar of content for you. So you're not having to guess what you need to do. You can literally log in here and flat out do the work. Okay, so that's that's the sense of that. Um, pardon me, uh, guys, uh, the back itch there. All right, so um, just wanted to let you guys see this. There'll be a link down in the description below. Uh, make sure that you guys take a look at it and make sure that you guys watch the next video that I'm going to put out on this. And we're going to walk through this a little bit more and go through another tutorial on it.